Have you ever wondered how driving through a sandstorm would look like? Well, today we're going to say just that. A sandstorm refers to the high amount of wind occurring in sandy areas, usually in deserts, where the wind can speed up so much that it can lift the upper layer of the sand from the ground and push it anywhere the wind blows. Wind. Dust storms arise when a gust front or other strong wind blows loose sand and dirt from a dry surface. In Sahara and Gobi deserts, they are very common and occur throughout the year. In the USA, though, and Australia, they mostly occur during the summer, as the heat of the lowermost layer of the atmosphere creates channels of hot air rising, but can occur in the spring too. The term sandstorm is used most often in the context of desert sandstorms, especially in Sahara Desert or places where sand is the most prevalent soil type than dirt or rock, when, in addition to fine particles obscuring visibility, a considerable amount of large sand particles are blown closer to the surface. The term dust storm is more likely to be used when finer particles are blown longer distances, especially when they affect urban areas. In the Middle East, though, you may hear colonies habu, which derives from the Arabic word hab, meaning wind. A habu is a wall of dust as a result of the microburst or downburst. The air force downward is pushed forward by the front of a thunderstorm cell, dragging dust and debris with it as it travels across the terrain. Now let's see how dust and sand create different effects during a storm. The sand involved in the sandstorm can reach heights approximately 3 to 15 meters, or 10 to 50 feet. Usually the height of a sandstorm corresponds to the wind strength. Dust particles associated with sandstorms have been found at 1500 meters, or 5000 feet, though these are more rare. Sandstorms have wind speeds of at least 40 km per hour, so they can happen really quickly. You'll mostly find them in dry, hot regions like the big deserts of Sahara and Gobi, but are also responsible for the afforestation limitations found in Chinese efforts. There's a link up here which I explain all that stuff. You can also find sandstorms in the US, especially in dry and flat regions like Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Nevada and Arizona. Now if you made it to this point of the video, you will see how driving through a sandstorm looks like. It's very dangerous to navigate through a sandstorm since your ability to see ahead can be severely obstructed. Additionally, sand can get into the nose, eyes, mouth and lungs. So if you happen to be caught in a sandstorm, protective eyewear like goggles and wearing a moistened scarf over the nose and mouth are highly recommended. Sandstorm usually arrives suddenly in the form of an advancing wall of dust and debris, which may be miles long and several thousand feet high. They strike with little warning, making driving conditions hazardous. The blinding dust can quickly reduce visibility, causing accidents that may involve chain collisions and creating massive pileups. Even if North Africa and Southern Europe are divided from the Mediterranean Sea, sand is so light that it can fly across the sea and affect the southern parts of Portugal, Spain, Italy and Sicily, Greece and Cyprus. Spain is closer to Sahara than any other European country and so is affected due to sandstorms. If Spain takes no countermeasures, the Sahara Desert may expand to the southern parts of Europe. But for not crying out loud, thankfully this could take hundreds of years.